good day everyone and welcome back to our channel so in this video let's talk about odo 14 expense management so success in expense management decides the financial success of a firm for a small business large scale business and other operations the expenses for the business will be managed in different ways Sometimes employees will have to purchase components or equipments for the company without getting the advance payment. So the travel allowance, communication allowance will also have to be borne uh, by the employees before getting it reimbursed. Okay, uh, so let's go to our expense management module in community. Okay, so here we can see the expense uh, management dashboard. So we can see the uh, manager can view the expenses to report. Okay, so before going to the details, so let's go to configuration settings and make some configuration for expense management. Okay, so here we can uh, create expenses from incoming emails. So from here we can set domain alias. So it is already enabled, that is we can create expenses from emails. Then here we can see find options, two options. Uh, so these th these options are only available in enterprise edition, that is uh, to reimburse uh, in payslip. So we can reimburse expenses in payslip and then digitalize your receipts with OCR and artificial intelligence. Okay, so here we can enable and upgrade now and purchase the application. So this is only available in Odo Enterprise. Okay, now before creating expense report, we have to create expense product. So here we already have uh, some products. We can create new product. Okay, let it be lunch. Then we can set a cost for the lunch. Then unit of measure. Then uh, we can use set internal reference, which will be used later as a subject when sending uh, when sending email. Then we can set company. Uh, so if you are setting a company here, then this product will be only available for that company. Then we can set account information, including expense account. Uh, then vendor taxes, customer taxes. Then here we can also set invoicing policy and re-invoice expenses. So invoicing policy that uh, if you're creating invoice, invoice can be created for order quantities or delivered quantities. So I'm setting delivered quantities. Then here we can set re-invoice expense whether to re-invoice or not. So if you uh, want to re-invoice this expense, then it can be done at cost price, that is uh, purchase price or at sales price. So I'm setting as cost. Then after that, save this expense product. So a lunch expense product is created. Now let's come back and create expense. So here we can see my expenses to report that we have seen. It is the uh, from the dashboard. Then we we can view all my expenses and my reports. Okay, so let's open all my expenses. So, can view uh, expenses of Michelin admin. So, Michelin admin is the user, and we can view expense at uh, expense date, description of the expense, employee, uh, employee for which expense is created, then paid by employer company. Then we can see analytical account, um, company name, then schedule activities, taxes applied on expenses total amount for which expense is created and the status of expense whether it is approved or submitted and below above that you can also see the total amount uh, expense amount to report and under validation and to be reimbursed okay so for this expenses not only we not only have a list view but we can view uh, we can we have a kanban view graph view pivot view okay so we can uh, import records or we can upload from here expenses can be uploaded so let's create a new expense from here okay so 
okay we can uh, provide description for the expense what is the expense lunch estimate and we can select the product expense product from here okay so when you select lunch we can see the unit price quantity so from here we can change the quantity uh, and then we can apply taxes then okay, you can see the total amount amount due then here we can set a bill reference if you have created any bill you can add a bill reference then you can see the expense date expense account you can see automatically uh, by default an expense account is set then here we can uh, see the employee by default it is set as Michelin admin that is a user then here we can set the currency uh, the expense then customer to reinvoice that is if a product has an expense policy it will be reinvoiced in on this on this sale order okay so here we can select the related sale order so a reinvoice can be created then uh, we can also add analytical account Okay, so the expense can be marked in that account. Then here we can see the company view. Then here, here we can specify uh, the expenses paid by employee or company. So if you mark an employee, then it need to be reinvested. Okay, then here we can provide a short note on expense. And we can save the expense. So after saving expense, we can attach receipt. If you have any receipt, you can attach receipt here or you can directly create a report. So you can see the status is now to submit and after uh, creating report, you can see it is submitted, report is submitted. And then here we can see a button that is to approve this report, uh, this expense. But uh, this expense report can only be approved by manager. So you can see Michelin admits itself the manager, so you can approve from here. So or refuse the report. Okay. So after approving here, we can find option to post journal entries. Okay, we can see this posted. Now we can attach report documents. So you can see here the expense lines, total amount, and here we can add attachments. So you can see the expense journal, accounting date, journal entry. Then here from here you can register payment. Okay, so here we can select payment method, journal, payment date, uh, change currency, and you can create payment. Okay, now you can see uh, the expense is paid. And from here we can attach receipt of view report. So you can see report. Okay, so this is how we create uh, expense products and, and expenses. So when you come back to your dashboard, that is expenses to report. Um, you can see expenses report. So it is by default uh, filtered by expense, my expenses to report. So when you just remove that to report, you can see all, like, all my expenses. So here you can see lunch with customer is already paid. And here we can see uh, laptop and screen is not submitted. It need to be submitted. Okay. Then we can uh, see all my reports. Okay. Then here we can see expense reports to approve. Then expense report to post. To pay. Then can see all expense report okay so here we can see for this expense uh, expense approval activity schedule then here we also have expense analysis report so you can see uh, expense analysis uh, with measure total subtotal quantity or as unit price so you can see for each month the expense then here we can group it by employee, product, analytic account, analytic account status, then expense date. Then we can also filter this report by uh, my expenses. So refuse expenses, expenses to report, then my team expenses, expenses of former employees and all. 
Okay, and for this expense report, we also have a pivot to a list view, Kanban view. Okay, so you can manage your expense using this report. So, order 14 expense management system gives a complete solution for all expense management worries of the employees in management while the employees can be sure of getting all company related expenses reimbursed uh, in the management can be sure of avoiding any malpractices or manipulation in the expenses claimed by the employees so if you have any doubt regarding this video expenses uh, expense management or related topics in human resource management Please add your valuable comments below. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at